Hi, this is David Greenwood of Your Life in the Now. Welcome to episode five, where we talk about growing and creating healthy relationships. In the last episode, we went over the beginning of this, and we discovered how relationships are the key for helping us to move forward and to be aware of what our issues are so that we can address them and move forward. Today, we're gonna to continue to explore what it means to have healthy relationships and down below, you'll find the link for the three things you need to know to have a healthy relationship. It's free. Check it out. It's going to be very useful for you to move forward. And one of the first things we're going to talk about is when you are starting a relationship, how important it is to be yourself, to be honest, to just be you. And realize you're going to make mistakes. You don't have to be this perfect person. Now, probably many of you are already in a relationship and you're discovering that over the first couple of years, we call the honeymoon phase when everything went well, that eventually we come to a point where the issues start coming forth, where we start seeing some of the deeper issues that relationships naturally draw out. It's really no surprise that the energy when we're first in a relationship is bringing up us at our best. And we call it like our teenage years where we're more happy and joyous and out there and loose and free. And then the old guardian part comes in, the voice of your subconscious mind. Now, this is the guardian files after all. So we're talking about what's stopping you from your subconscious mind. And it is a guardian. It reasserts power and control. And it has you become responsible. You become responsible when you get a new job or you get married or you have kids or somewhere along the way. We tend to put away some of the teenage exuberance and we become more responsible. And as we become more responsible, up comes all those old issues, all the old fears, all the old things that are really not the best of who we are. They're going to come into the relationship. But remember, that's exactly what we need to have happen. They need to come forth so we can deal with them. So just like we talked about in the last episode, don't push them away. Don't try to ignore those issues. We draw those issues so that we can change them. And that's the important thing. That's what we talk about. Draw the person you draw. That person's going to be the best for you now. It doesn't mean it's going to be the healthiest, but it matches who you really are. So be you. You're going to resonate and vibrate at the right level to draw the right person to match your issues. Now, it's not all bad news. You're going to enjoy it as well and do the happy things, be, be fun together, enjoy life. But when the issues do arise, just be aware that they're meant to come up. And as you resolve them, you will heal. And hopefully both of you will do the same thing so you can grow together. Otherwise we have issues where we tend to grow apart. So what's really happening is that as we grow up, we mentioned before, we go through the childhood phase, the older child, the teen phases, three very different parts of creating the healthier you and the unhealthier you. It's a healthy you because these are amazing parts within us that we need in our daily life, but it's the unhealthy because they get wounded and hurt. As they get wounded and hurt as we're growing up, the guardian part puts them aside the best it can to try to protect you. It's hiding these parts away. Remember, the guardian doesn't like feelings, doesn't like emotions. So when these parts encounter difficult experiences, it tries to suppress them, to push them away, to hide them. Unfortunately, it puts away the best part of us as well. So that as we mentioned last time, by the time you're 16, you're no longer the authentic you. You're a person who has an image put out there to have a relationship with another person's image. No wonder it doesn't work because we're not our real self. We're the image. Now it's going to happen. You're human beings. There's nothing you can really do, but just do the best you can. But be aware that when these issues come up, they're meant to be addressed. That's right. Like in the last episode, we talked about all the things you can do to move forward. So let's say it's two years, three years have gone by. What can you do? Well, if you have already had a chance to look at that three things you need to do, I have some very specific things in there of what you need to do how you want to not just grow apart, but understand one another. You're going to find very often you really don't know your partner. You really don't know underneath what they want, what makes them happy. And there's something that we have on the three part, three things you need to do 
that will help you to understand that. It's really very essential. There's another part on that free download where we talk about how you can make sure that you're staying together, united as a couple, remembering the best of you, the health of you, the spiritual you. I don't care what words you use. It's a deeper connection. And you never want to find the two of you fighting against each other. You want to be working on your issues. And we give you some specific examples in that free download that you can use to help you with that. You know, remember your guardian part really doesn't want to change. It really doesn't want to encounter issues. It tries to push the issues away. It denies them. Drinking, smoking, drugs, alcohol, entertainment, exercise. There's many forms of escape the guardian can use to avoid the issues. Some of us are better than others at avoiding issues. We can deny it very easily. Others can't do it. It causes a lot of problems, a lot of anxiety and stress. Remember, none of this is a healthy way. It's okay to have fun, of course. Just don't deny the issues. Work on them at the same time. Now, the guardian is going to want to push them away. The guardian, remember, is safest when you're in your home. When you're in your home, it can control the environment. As soon as you step outside, it's not as controllable. It doesn't know what could happen to you. And you might have heard me say it before, but the old saying is that, yes, ships are safest in the harbor, but they're meant for the open seas. So, too, are you meant to get out there, to explore, to learn, to grow, to push the limits, to overcome the resistance of that guardian part. And in relationships, you're going to find that you can grow together. You can move forward with the support of one another. It'll make that life together more magical. What we call practical spirituality is simply you being at your best, you being healthiest, you being that healthy individuals because healthy individuals have healthy relationships. Use these techniques, use these things to help you avoid the issues. Remember the issues are going to be there. It's what you do about them that matters. Now you're going to find that you just can't do it alone. That's right. You're going to encounter some problems. Some issues are going to come up either on your own or in relationships. You're going to need help. I needed help. Everybody I know needs help. The reason we need help is because our guardian part, our subconscious ego, is so much stronger than your conscious desire, than the health of you. Here's you. Here's your guardian. You can't even see the limits of it. It's so much. It's going to overcome you. It's going to sabotage you. It's going to distract you. It's going to win. Now, in other areas, remember, your guardian is in alignment with what you want. We're not talking about that. We're only talking about the resistive part of you. When it encounters a part of your conditioning that is not in your best interest, it's going to fight you. It thinks it knows what's best. Find somebody to help you. Someone that will be there to help you move forward despite that resistance. One of the reasons that I created the programs is so that you can work through this. But there's other people as well as, as, that do the same thing I do. Just find somebody that will help you. So when you have the relationship um, coaching, the relationship work together, it really is good to come in for a tune-up. We tune up our car every year or so. You should tune up your relationships every year as well. Because if you don't, those guardian parts are going to take you over and are going to push you farther apart. You're not going to be communicating. And before you know, it's going to be too late. Now, I have many examples in my practice where one of the partners, one of the people was sent to me by the other. <laughs> Oftentimes, it's women sending men to see me saying, you need to get this fixed. Go get fixed. Go work on it. And in this example, the men come to me because they're open. They want to change. And oftentimes there's some issues there with self-worth or self feeling good about themselves, something that just isn't working in their life. So as they come in, we discuss that, we find out what the problem is and we work on it. And they do grow, they do change. They develop that self-worth, that self-confidence. And as they do, they also begin to see that they're not the only one with the issue. Yes, it's usually equal. Both people have issues. And they'll go back to their partner and hopefully their partner is open to it. And most times they are and say, great, now we can work together. 
on certain issues and have a happy life, right? Nobody wants to be working all the time. That's not what we're suggesting. But when the problems arise, you want to be able to focus on them and address them. So then the partner can go back, oftentimes the man, the woman, and they can grow the healthy relationship and move on. Now, there are times when you go back into the relationship and you'll find that that person that sent you to see me is fairly controlling. It's pointing out that, at least what they say, is that it's your fault. It's not their fault. It's your fault. You go fix yourself. And so when people come forth after working with me and go back in relationships, sometimes they find that their partner is in total denial, that they have anything wrong with them whatsoever. In those cases, it really doesn't work very well if one partner is trying to be controlling. And the warning flags are if the partner tells you what to think and feel, tells you who you can see, takes control of the money, takes you away from friends or from family members even. That's a warning flag. Go see a counselor. You need help if that is the issue. Please remember, no matter what your partner says, it's not all you. Everybody has issues. If they think they don't, they're in denial. And it can often lead to a lot of problems. A lot of times people think of the old idea of, well, the best defense is a good offense. <laughs> in that case, yes, they're going to move you forward. So sometimes you're going to find that the person isn't willing to even look at themselves. Controlling people cannot even admit they have a problem. It's like they're juggling a thousand things at once and their subconscious knows they have issues, but they're not letting the conscious mind even be aware of it. And if you're aware that you even have one issue, it's as if everything falls down and they just can't even let themselves feel that. So they stay stuck. There's many ways of escaping. You mentioned food, drugs, alcohol, entertainment, exercise, so many different ways to get out there. And it's okay again to enjoy that. But when you're in a relationship, you want to also be aware that little things can sneak in along the way, little issues, and they become bigger issues if they're not addressed. So please take the time and be self-aware and move through the issues. You don't need to have them dogging you the rest of your life. The issues are meant to be resolved, not lived with. Now, it's really great that there's people out there in the world working on poverty, working on climate change, working on helping people. These are wonderful things. However, I wish people would also spend as much energy working on themselves. Otherwise, we're always going to be trying to play catch up, trying to be working on things outwardly. Unless we change within, nothing in the outer is going to ever be fully resolved. There's always going to be something in the human condition, in the guardian, the self-interest that's going to pull you away from doing the healthy thing. So please take some time as well to focus on you, to be the better person. To work on your ego, you have issues, we all have issues. Just please take time to work on them. Now, one of the examples that I wanted to talk about is that sometimes people come in and they're ready for a divorce. They've just tried the best they can, they can't make it work. Now, in that, in that situation, especially if you have children, it's essential that you do the best you can to remain friends to resolve those old issues if you can, especially if there's children. Children are sponges, they're absorbing all the information, all the problems, everything that's coming up, they're taking it in. You might think that you're keeping it from them, you aren't, they feel it. Children absorb energy. They are learning from you what relationships are supposed to be like. If you're not connecting, they're learning that that's what's normal. Yes, you are affecting them. Do the best you can to work out your issues, to come see someone like a counselor before they get too large. If you start arguing and find yourself stuck, see somebody. Otherwise, if it's time to go, do the best you can to part as friends so that it's best for not just you, but for the children as well. Now, when people come to see me and they're in a relationship, I say, great. Now we can work on the issues that are coming up. If they come to see me and they're just in the individual, as an individual, they're not in a relationship, I say, great. Now we can work on self-esteem, raising your level of self-confidence and vibrations so that you draw a better person. So in other words, it really doesn't matter where you are and what you're at. It's time to move forward. 
there's always an opportunity for growth and fulfillment. The old saying, if you're tired of starting over, stop quitting. Keep moving forward. Life is meant to be a constant movement forward. And also, it's essential that you give yourself credit for what you've done. Far too many people just want to focus on the problem. That old saying, what you resist persists. You keep focusing on the issue, it continues to be an issue. It's good to be aware of the issues, then move on. Move on and give yourself credit for what you're doing. So many of my clients come in and they don't give themselves any credit at all. I had one lady come to see me who wanted to work on weight loss and she was drinking about three liters of Coke a day, which is quite a bit. So she had some weight she wanted to lose. We did this session, talked about self-worth. She left, went home for a week or two, came back for the second session. And I asked her, okay, how are you doing with things? Are you feeling good? And we talked for a little while and she said, well, I'm not doing very well. I'm afraid I kind of failed over the last week. I said, oh really, what, what happened? And she said, I'm still drinking one liter of Coke. And I listened to her and I waited for her to say something else and she didn't. So we worked a little while and I got her to realize she stopped drinking two liters of Coke. There's two thirds of the issue was gone. She was only drinking one. That was a tremendous growth for one session. And when she saw it, she started like a light bulb went off and she started smiling. She said, I guess I did a good job, didn't I? I go, you did a great job, but she didn't even realize it. Dropping two liters of a Coke in one session is tremendous and a huge step forward, but she didn't let herself focus on what she was doing well. She only focused on what still remained. Give yourself credit. Of course, there's a large group of things we want to work on, but we focus on what we're doing well so we can grow that up. There was another gentleman came to see me and he would often drive his friends around and they go to different parties and everything. And very often he'd stay in the car. He'd stay in the car and drive them around different places. And he came into working on a different issue and we talked a little bit. I asked him, what do you do for fun? And he told me different things and I liked taking time with my friends driving around and go, great, you know, what do you do? And it became obvious he was a chauffeur. <laughs> he drove people around, they used him. And as we worked through this, he began to realize the obvious fact that he was a caretaker, that he got his self-worth by helping people. And people who are caretakers put out this energy of wanting to take care of people. And oftentimes they draw back to them people that need to be taken care of or people that will take advantage of you. And they did. They took advantage of him. They had him drive him everywhere. So when he realized this, we talked about it, did the session. He came back for the second session. He was smiling and I said, well, what's going on? He goes, my friends hate you. <laughs> I said, why? Even though I probably knew why. He said, well, because I'm not driving them around anymore. And so they say that you, the counselor, me, have ruined their life. And Good. I'm glad I did. And he no longer was driving them around. He was now doing things and with friends that treated him with better respect and appreciation. Really, he was an amazing guy. And finally, he saw that for himself. So be aware that that guardian part is going to put pull wool over your eyes, if you will. It's not going to let you see what you are doing. It's just going to be negative and it's going to have you focus on all the things you still need to do and beat you up and blame you for not doing it well enough when in reality you're doing perfectly fine. As you move forward in your relationships, continue to be your authentic self. You'll find how much it does change your life for the better. As you move forward, please watch the three things that will help your relationship because it really will help your relationships. It's more practical information. We're talking about a lot of information here, a lot of stuff, but I want to be giving you practical thoughts as well, things that you can do. And if you find these videos important, just give me a thumbs up if you will, spread the, spread the news about it. Subscribe to the channel. You'll be getting information for when I put out another one because my goal is to have you be able to enjoy healthy relationships, to feel so good about yourself. Things will not trigger you anymore. Life gets so much better when you feel good, happy, and free. This is David Greenwood <laughs> signing off from this episode of The Guardian Files 
where we're here to help you move forward. Until now, the guardian might have been in control of your life. Until now, you might not have given yourself any of the kudos that you really do need so that you can move forward and see who you really are, the real authentic you. See you next time.